welcome and thank you for tuning in. It's Kristen Fry with Whippy Oshawa Honda and today we have a gorgeous car proof clean 2016 Honda Odyssey sitting before us in the EX trim level in a white diamond pearl exterior. Equipped with projector beam halogen headlamps with on off you're also going to get these LED tail lamps and beautiful chrome detailing right along the front grille. Now if you pop open that hood you got a powerful 3.5 liter IV Tech V6 engine made it to a six speed automatic transmission with grade logic control, boasting just under 250 horsepower and foot pounds of torque. Coming down over to the sides, you'll be riding atop these super stylish 17 inch aluminum alloy rims. Of course, those are complemented by front splash guards and disc brakes all around. And you'll be riding atop a 17 inch all season radial tire. Check out the tread, there's tons of driving life left to go. Well, with power sliding doors, we have Bluetooth connectivity, touchscreen, and tons more waiting for us inside. Let's hop in and show you all around. Helping you hop in your brand new Odyssey smart entry complete with lock, unlock, your power sliding doors, and panic mode. Check out our video to learn a little bit more about your fob. So for now, we're gonna tuck this away, put our hand on the handle, and go ahead and open on up to reveal the super stylish two-tone gray interior. Loving the illumination as well as the storage right there. You also have a second cubby up top and a handle to help you get in. Full power amenities, doors, windows, mirrors, and locks. Speaking of mirrors, foldable expanded driver view mirror. Coming into the seating here, we have a 10-way power driver positioning seating with a four-way power passenger position seating as well. These are heated seats with the upgraded gray fabric. Coming down, we have carpeted mats all around, our gas release, and our e-brake. Up top here, this is where we're gonna find some storage. And we come into our power sliding doors so you can turn them on or off, as well as your vehicle stability assist. Before we pop in, I just wanna point out your tilt and telescopic steering lever, as well as Honda's unique blind spot display. When you turn on your signal, it'll simply project an image over to the middle console screen, showing you what's happening in the passenger blind spot. Well, why don't we step in, turn it on, so we can show you the feature live time. Just turning over our push to start engine using the convenient push to start to the right of our steering column. Coming up top, we have a very low 2100 kilometers on the vehicle. But if you want to toggle through the screen, you can simply push this toggle and it'll allow you to access different or variety of information. Got our heating and cooling, RPM, speedometer, and fuel consumption. Taking a peek at our steering wheel at a hole, very easy to read, straightforward. Loving the grip here, it's super easy and comfortable for the long commutes. Over here we've got our entertainment, so mode will switch us from AM to FM to CD or any type of connectivity. Volume will simply increase or decrease our volume, while channel will go ahead presets for the radio or skip ahead tracks for CD, iPod connectivity, that sort of thing. We have our Bluetooth right down below, as well as it's kind of hard to see, but this little guy here is actually gonna change you from phone to info to audio. So depending on what information you wanna see up top, you can select it using the steering wheel. The rest of the wheel over on our right hand side is gonna have our cruise control. So once we go ahead and turn it on, you see the icon up top there. And behind our steering wheel, we have our lighting lever, as well as signals and that blind spot display. So as I go to put it on to make a right hand turn, you see it automatically come up on our upper screen. And it has guidelines so you can take those on and off if you find they're not helpful. The other way, you just push that button and it comes on, a second push turns it off. So very easy to use. Now over to our right hand side, we have our windshield wiper, including that for the rear. So I love that you get the rear one, very handy and in climate weather come the winter time. So up top, we've already cycled through this screen using our steering wheel, but you can actually go ahead and utilize these controls down here. And that will allow you to cycle through that screen as well. So if we hit phone, it's gonna change us to phone. If I hit info, or audio, it brings you to the audio screen. 
Directly below our upper screen, this is where we're going to find our heating and cooling. So again, we have heated seats for the front driver and passenger, as well as a tri-climate control. So driver versus passenger versus rear can set the temperature independently and carry on. Loving that. If you have the little ones, you can go ahead and hit rear lock. So what that does is it makes it so that mom and dad, the drivers, the guardians, they control the temperature and the back does not have access. Coming down into your secondary screen here. So what I like to do is leave this on audio and keep this one on different information so I can always see what I'm listening to down here. So going ahead, we can change our source. We can go back out of there, change our shortcuts. Maybe we want to tune the station or access more. So then you can do all of these functionalities as well. So it's pretty cool that you have two different screens for two different purposes. And then of course we have our eject and our volume control right here with our power mode. Now below that we're coming into our multi-function toggle. Again, these are gonna control our upper screen. Menu will always call up the menu options for whatever feature we're in. Or if we wanna go into settings, this is where we're gonna be able to adjust and customize the vehicle to our liking. So speaking of those camera settings, guys, as I was referencing, you can go in here, change those guidelines on or off. So why don't I go ahead and show you what our rear camera looks like. Awesome. So super easy to use. Put it in reverse, comes on automatically. Now below our uh, settings down here, we have our connectivity. So this is where you find your USB, your power outlet, and your auxiliary. So it's very easy. Then we have additional storage down here as well as our cup holders and this storage right up top. Cool thing is, this actually comes out, so if you prefer to have this stowed away in a garage, back of the vehicle itself, you can do so. We have more cup holders, and we also have these adjustable armrests for both driver and passenger. Same storage for passenger as you have for driver, and then we also have a lock and glove compartment, and a garbage clip. You can also use that as a purse holder. Now we have to pop in the back seat, but before we do so, just want to point out that we do have a Tri-Link home remote system, as well as a conversation slash babysitting mirror, and of course your lighting options. Pardon me there. Lastly, the vanity light with mirror. Awesome. Well, there's six other seats to inspect. Why don't we go jump in second row seating and show you the third row as well. Come with me. Now, I don't want to give away all the tips and tricks of your new Odyssey, but if you simply push once and then hold your unlock, check it out. All of the windows come down. That's going to be super handy, especially on the summer days. Now, I'm just going to simply push and hold for a power sliding door. Phenomenal. So, with our second row seating, what you're going to notice is I've actually staggered the seats for us. So you can have the seats come as far up as this one here or as far back as this one in front of us. I've also widened the seats. So you can see that you can actually have the seat super skinny like so or in the widened mode. So whether you're traveling with teenagers, adults, or maybe three car seats all in a row, you have that capability. The other cool thing, pocket, pocket, and ample storage in the door there. So I love all of these features. And again, the upgraded fabric, so comfortable. I've connected this uh, seatbelt for you, but if you don't need it, you can simply connect it into the roof. And all three seats are removable. Now coming over to these latches, there's three different latches. This is gonna flip us forward so that we can widen it just as, as I've done right there. And then we have these other ones here uh, that allow us to flatten the seat out completely or access the third row. So why don't we go ahead and do so. Fantastic. So hopping in here, I've done the same thing. You can stagger your third row seats, which is fantastic. And again, we've tucked the seatbelt up in the roof just to give you that additional visibility here. Cup holder, cup holder. And then you also have three cup holders down the side as well as some storage. So if you're not using this for seating, you can actually use it for storage instead. Also pocket as well as another pocket. Awesome. Well, there's so much more to show you with our stow and go seats. So why don't you come with me? And we have sun visors, both sides. 
that's not a outside of the Odyssey. All we're gonna do, we're just simply gonna go ahead, hit our unlock on our key fob, and that's gonna unlock our tailgate for us. It's a hydraulic lift, so as soon as you open it up, it does the work. Scratch resistant camera. Awesome. Okay, so as we come in, you're gonna see that staggered seating again. You got some nice storage in the cubbies to the left, huge amount of storage down below, and then we have these stow and go. So they're so easy, you literally just pull and watch it drop. Let's do it again. Pull and watch it drop. Check it out. Now imagine if we take these three seats out, you can fit so much room. Got someone moving to college? You can move them. Helping a friend or a family member? You can move them. Got a large awkward patio set? You can ship it home. And they even have this here, the bumper guard. So when you're lifting those super heavy items, the strollers, the wheelbarrows, the wagons, you don't have to worry about damaging your super white Odyssey. Fantastic. Handy handle to shut us down. And one more peek through here. Again, using our power sliding doors. It looks fantastic. I'm just gonna go ahead and close them there. And then coming into the side. Again, looks phenomenal. Well guys, Odysseys are super popular. They're eight passenger wonderful vehicles. Why don't you drop by, take this one out for a spin, hook up your phone, stream some music wirelessly, and see how the kids enjoy the back. It's Kristen Fry with Whippy Ashmahanda. Give us a shout, you can call, click, or like I say, drop by our showroom. We're happy to help any day of the week. Thanks for viewing and have a happy Honda day.